You can change the gears if you want. Go up the hill more. Push it a bit. Got the brakes on. What do you think? So here we have Norton Summit, 5.5 kilometers, one of the most popular climbs in Australia, if not the most popular, 75,000 attempts, over 6,000 people. Fastest time ever officially recorded, Damien Housen, under 23, World TT champ, 11.29. Duran Rider, yours truly, 13.10. And women's fastest time ever recorded, Nusha Kiran, 14.02. So let's see what the turbo does. So we're at the start of the famous Norton Summit. Fastest recorded time ever recorded trial on Strava. It's 11.29. Damon House, under 23 world TT champ. Let's see if we can get the tracksuit pants on, the running shoes of the Turbo West. Let's see if we can beat the under 23 world time trial champ at Norton Summit. Let's see what my heart rate is. All right now is 140 beats per minute. Let's go. 104 beats. Let's do it. So it's cruising on up. Yep. <laughs> I, I said I said before it was uh, what it was for dates holding dates, the big downshoot. Just fucking motoring up here. Fucking motoring. Little dumplings, Finn has already dumpling hers up. Got some rice here for a veggie rice dish. This is little bits of flavoured tofu. It's pretty good. There's a little rice dish here. Tasty, Freddy. Tasty. A little clay pot. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. Carbon up. So heart rate's 160. Uh, I'm breathing through my nose. Look <laughs> at that. Tracking pants. Running shoes. This is what EPA must feel like. The hematocrit of 85%. <laughs> Fucking oath. Breathing through the nose. Just on nine minutes. <laughs> Let's go do some more climbs. So before I rode the turbo, I'm like, can it climb? Can you climb on the turbo? I soon found out. I knocked two minutes off under 23 world time trial champion Damien Housen's time. And that's Damien's got the fastest ever recorded time on this Norton Summit climb. So the turbo wearing sneakers and tracky pants <laughs> will take two minutes off a TT world champ. So does the turbo climb? Fucking earth it can. Next we have Coach House driving Woodland Way. Hardest climb around 10 minutes. Over two kilometers. It's the hardest climb over two kilometers in suburban Australia. Nothing comes close. I've seen people walk up this climb. 10% average. And it's got some ramps in there. 2.7 goes. Again, Damon Housen, TT champ, 907. New Shakiran, 1149. Yours truly, 1005. So you can see here, I'm putting out 376 watts, Housen, 450, 450 watts, 905. Let's see what the turbo can do. Steepest. This is the fucking steepest hill in Australia, in suburban Australia. It's over 2K long. And I'm about to smash, smash the record. Fastest ever time here, Damon Housen again. Smashed it. I'm going to smash his time. Beat from my nose. 12k an hour. This is a steep. Look at this. Look at fucking this. This is what it's about, man. This is a fucking wall. Doesn't look steep, but it fucking is. The turbo is on 11k an hour. They should call this bike the Honey Badger. Because the hundred Honey Badger doesn't give a fuck. And neither does the turbo. It is eating it up. Eating it up. Wow, all right, this is unreal. All right, it's flattening out. We're speeding up. This part is where your heart's beating for your eyeballs normally. Let's see what time we do. Woodlands Way, this is the fucking steepest hill in suburban Australia, around 10 minutes long. Nothing compares to Woodlands Way. I've seen cyclists crack on this hill like nothing ever before. It's crazy steep, crazy steep. So we know the turbo can go up a 5% climb really well, but how about a 10% wall, steepest two kilometer climb in suburban Australia. How does the turbo got that? Well, I'd knocked 
just over a minute of Damien TT Champion's time and uh, put about two minutes into my own personal time. So even though it's a 22 kilo bike and you've got limited gearing, it doesn't really matter because the turbo's like the honey badger. It doesn't give a fuck. It's going for it. So here we have Green Hill Road, 7.2 kilometers, 7%. Kicks up constant, constant. Current best time, Rowan Dennis, ex-team Garmin rider, recently switched to BMC, 18.52. Fastest woman ever recorded, Nusha Kiran, 23.04. My current best time, 22.31. I'll admit, I could go faster now. I've never actually done an all-out full gas TT, but let's see what this turbo can do. Unbelievable Green Hill Road. <laughs> 95 percent hematocrit. Fucking awesome client. Sun's going down. Time to drop. Time to drop. So we're here at the top of Green Hill Road. The famous bus stop. The bus stop of pain. You come up this here. You normally know lactate for your nipple. Going so hard about this beautiful sunset. So what happened is the uh, I did run out of battery power and switched out of eco, so I had to actually use my own body to get up here. But I still beat Rowan's time, even though the battery sort of went flat on me. So it's an amazing bike, it's a sign of things to come. This technology electric is uh, it's incredible. It's a great motor pacing tool, a clean motor pacing tool. So if you're in the bunch and you're training up some lads or girls and you want a bike that can motor pace and definitely. Battery ran out in the iPod and the battery ran out in the bike. I've knocked about 88 seconds approximately off Rowan's time. I had to pedal with my own gas on the last. Five minutes of the climb, put my own wattage out there, yeah, but I'd put enough time in that I didn't really lose too much. So this bike is an incredible tool. We'll do it on 5% climbs, 7% climbs, 10% climbs. The Turbo S is an incredible pacing tool, battery life. You're probably going to get about 40 minutes of climbing full gas on the Turbo. On the flat, you probably get about 80 kilometers for a 65 kilo rider. I was wearing tracksuit pants, quite flappy, so perhaps we get more. We definitely could get more time out. If I was wearing clipping shoes, would that save wattage? I'll do some more experiments. So if you've got any questions down below, let us know what should be the next video be regarding the turbo. Can it climb? Fucking oath it can. Can it pace a world-class rider? It can drop a world-class rider, no worries. So this bike can do it all when it comes to road. The only drawback would be um, if you want to do an epic ride, like a 200k ride or a 100k ride in the hills, it's not going to do that. But that's the technology down the track will definitely happen. But right now, it serves as an excellent pacing tool. Okay, you got any questions down below? And uh, somebody said, oh, that's not fair. You got the KOMs, take them down. I, I mean, I'll definitely take these down. I'll definitely take these down. All right, thanks for watching. See you next video. Ooh. Oh, damn. Damn, what an edit for. 17.24, fuck, it's a fast time. Take it down, this electric bike. <laughs> Fucking suckers, I'm never going to take this shit down. I'm never going to get these times again. Besides, you know, I'm 37, I was wearing tracky pants and sneakers. You know, the bike's 22 kilos, I think that's fair. You level it all out, it's an even playing field, I think that's fair. Take it down, my ass, I'll take it down. <laughs> www.thekinghasbeencrowned. Hashtag come at me, bruh.